from Ben and Joel in the, in the pick and rolls at practice? Uh, well, just their concentrated effort on you know making sure that they get good screens and, and they communicate with each other. Uh, they've been doing a pretty good job of dominating in the pick and roll, making great plays. You know, Ben is doing a good job of using Joel and also just being patient in the pick and roll. You know, I think a lot of times young players they come off the pick and roll and they go 100 miles an hour, but Ben is actually utilizing all his options. You know, he has three point shooters. You know, we got Joel that's either picking or popping. And you know he can get to the basket and score over any of the guards that's checking him. So he's doing a good job. And then Joel setting real solid screens. He's reading the defense. He's rolling. He's popping. He's making plays. And uh, I think that trust and that chemistry between those two guys and the rest of the, the guys on the starting squad have been amazing so far. You, you've been doing a lot of talking about a lot of players, different players since you've been here. Mm -hmm. But for you. Mm -hmm. How has this fit been for you? I know it's early, it's only been a week, mm -hmm. but how has this fit been for you? It's been amazing. You know, I'm, I'm happy to be here with this team, you know, being able to uh, learn from Doc and the coaching staff, but also just learn from these young guys. You know, they've been doing an excellent job of uh, just uh, teaching me uh, this offense and learning, you know, this, you know, this new style that we're playing. Uh, but also everybody's listening and working, we're working hard. So uh, I'm enjoying this team. Uh, not just the players, but the staff, uh, the organization itself uh, has been amazing so far. And I'm looking forward to us building this year and uh, winning this chip. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Narducci, you're up next. Well, it's sort of, sort of like what, what Keith has asked. Um, you know, you've been asked before how much you could help Joel and B by playing him every day in practice. How can your game be helped by, you know, going up against a guy like that every day? Uh, well, for, for me, it's just pushing him and pulling great, the, the greatness that's inside of him out, you know, and that's, that's an everyday process, you know. Uh, he's, he's been, you know, preaching about trusting the process, and this is a part of that process and that journey uh, for him, you know. So right now, you know, me getting better uh, every day is just by pushing him you know, to bring out the best in him. You know, we're going to go as far as uh, Joe and, you know, being take us. So, you know, for me, it's every day being consistent with my effort and energy and communication to, with him, uh, building him up, uh, pushing him towards his greatness. And uh, for me, it's just about being a servant. You know, that's how I can get better every day is, is by serving my teammates, uh, being the best vet I could be, uh, talking to them, communicating with them on every possession. You know, when I mess up, you know, letting them know that, hey, I, I, it was my bad. You know, I'm going to be better and uh, just uh, just pushing guys, you know. So that's that's how I get better is by making sure that, you know, every day and every possession and every moment that we have on and off the court, you know, I'm helping these guys and uh, pulling the greatness out of them. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Good, uh, Rich Hoffman up next. Hey, Dwight, uh, you mentioned the coaching staff a little bit earlier. I I'm curious um, specifically about, uh, like, Dan Burke and the defense, uh, the defense, how the coaches are trying to, uh, you know, implement whatever you guys are trying to do on that end of the floor. Well, I think our defense and practice has been amazing so far. We've been pushing each other. Uh, we've been pressuring the, the, the first unit. Uh, the, our job as the, the second unit is to make sure that the, the first unit is, has to work every possession. You know, I think uh, if we give them uh, the best defense that they'll see every day in practice when it gets time for the game, you know, they'll be comfortable into making the right decision. So, uh, so far, Dan has done a good job of putting us in the right spots, uh, communicating with how he wants us to move and play on defense. And then from then on, it's, it's up to us on the court to actually give the effort and the energy uh, to play top-notch defense. And, you know, I believe with the team that we have, the coaching staff that we have, um, and uh, just the, the, the presence that we have with our bigs, you know, we have an opportunity to be, you know, top three defensive teams in the league this year. And if we do that, uh, we'll definitely have an opportunity to win the East and uh, win the championship. <clears throat> Next up, Kai Carlin. 
Hey, what's going on, Dwight? So How you doing? You, in, you mentioned those those younger guys. You know, outside of Ben and Joel, what have you kind of seen from what have you kind of seen from guys like Shake and, and Matisse and uh, Tyrese out there so far in practice? Oh man, Shake has been doing an excellent job. You know, uh, he's he's really controlling the offense of the blue team. He's getting us in our sets, making sure that we're running our sets properly. Uh, one thing you you see sometimes out of young point guards is you know a lot of frustration when plays don't go the right way. But for him. He's on to the next play. He's getting us in our right spots. He's finding shooters. He's finding rollers. He's scoring when he's at when he has to, and he's playing under control. And then on the defensive end, him playing against a bigger guard like Ben Simmons is really, you know, helping him. He's 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 pushing Ben. Uh, he's up in, into him on the defensive end. He's doing a great job. And, and Maxi, you know, he's only had two days of real practice, uh, so. He's been doing a good job, you know. He's been shooting the ball well. He's been cutting, making plays. Uh, he's learning the offense, you know. So from a, for a young guy who this is his first year playing, you know, a uh, different kind of role than he's had in the past, he's doing an amazing job, and I'm proud of him. And uh, Matisse, Matisse just got back, so uh, he's he's uh, he's slowly getting into it. His defense looks great. His communication looks great, and uh, he's going to be great for us this year. Thanks, Dwight. You're welcome. Next up, Kyle Newbeck. Hey, Dwight. So you actually you mentioned you brought up the word second unit. I know you guys had like a small group uh, early in camp because of injuries and, mm -hmm. and trades and whatnot. But how consistent has the lineup been, I, I guess, for you during camp? Or has Doc been, you know, mixing and matching guys? To, to oh, we always work? mix and match. But, you know, we when we do our scrimmages and we're doing our work, you know, it's – you know the starters, the guys who've been here, with you know addition of Danny and and uh, a Seth uh, mixing them in with uh, Ben and Joe and uh, <clears throat> Tobias, and then with the second unit you got me, Maxi, uh, Mike Scott, uh, Corky, uh, <clears throat> and uh, Dakota, and Maxi, and those guys, and you know so we've been doing a good job of just pushing those guys and making sure that every possession they got to work for a shot. We don't want to give them anything easy. Uh, we know that uh, in order for us to win the championship, that we have to be the unit to push the the, the, the first team uh, the hardest. You know, we have to get them great defense. We have to make pressure them on every play and just make them work. And I think if we continue to do that, it's going to help our our continuity, but it's also going to raise up the level of everybody's play. Uh, Dwight, I know you guys only get two preseason games this year. Obviously, a change compared to normal. And, and, and like a normal preseason, you guys are playing pretty limited minutes, like the, the normal rotation guys. Uh, has Doc given you guys any indication that that's going to be different this year? And I guess, what would you prefer? Would you rather get more minutes in the preseason, knowing that you're only going to get uh, two games before you guys start up? Uh, well, I think we just prefer to uh, stay healthy, um, get ourselves ready for uh, a 72-game season plus the playoffs. Uh, you know, this is a this is a marathon, and we want to make sure that we have our legs and our bodies and our minds on the same page. And <clears throat> and I think uh, the preseason is great, but you know, as we develop, you know, the offense and the defense, it starts in practice. So we might not have those uh, preseason games like we have had in the past, but I think the way we've been practicing has been kind of like those preseason games where we're getting everything out and we're, we're doing good. Thanks, Dwight. You're welcome.